Hello, I'm Andrew Lithium and welcome back to what is effectively a World War K3 rematch. So, I had kind of a lot of fun playing with the destroys in the last episode of World War K, and I decided that yeah, it's probably worth replaying, and I was also like, yeah, I'm having too much fun to stop. So, I thought we should have a rematch, especially because uh, the anti-air systems weren't working on uh, the destroyer, and the, uh, the corvettes that were attacking us weren't actually firing the missiles. So, I think a rematch is in order. So one of the reasons that the uh, the anti-air isn't working on these guys, uh, wasn't working on these guys, is because in the current version of BD Armory, laser weapons, like the anti-air lasers, aren't designated for some reason uh, to shoot down missiles. So my system wasn't choosing to shoot down missiles because it was like, oh, we've only got a cannon, that's not going to shoot down missiles. I think they got our missile in midair there. Oh, whoop, didn't see that one coming, ow. I think we got the one on the side, but we got a direct hit on the front. We are now burning. Uh, hmm. Ooh, look what we might got hit there. If we got hit, or we got very close there. Right. Um, by the way, people have been asking what the burning effect is. That is the destruction effect mod, I believe. It's by Bahamoto D, the guy, same guy who did, did uh, BD Armor and all that. Load of the mods that I'm a massive fan of. Uh, it's really, really good. So, we've got an extra missile coming from the left. Yeah, switch over to missiles. Switch over to the airborne laser, and then we should. There we go. Oh, oh god, that was close. Uh, yeah, so we're doing a pretty good job when we're actually like actively choosing to shoot down missiles. But it doesn't mean we have to turn off our. Oh, I think we've got a hit on the right there. Uh, turn off our choice of shooting anything else. It's not that good. That one in the middle. I guess we didn't hit it. That looked like a good shot. Oh, oh, we took a hit from a howitzer there. Oh, it looks like we might have got a hit. Oh god, we're turned. Don't, don't flip, don't flip, don't flip, don't flip. Cut the engines. <laughs> well, you know, I, when I was building the front arm for this destroyer, I did really take into account, you know, I want, you know, thicker front armor. I want lots of uh, different bit. Oh, we got hit. Nice. I want lots of, you know, overlapping plates. And I think it's coming useful. I mean, look at the amount of damage we've taken on the front there. Uh, I think we destroyed the one on the right because part of it is about 500 meters in the air. It's shooting us with its uh, 30 millimeter gun, so we'll shoot back. We've got more than you. You can't take this kind of punishment. I just love the hail of fire. Like, it's not doing that much because structural plates are pretty damn tough. Um, ow. I wonder what we got hit by. Maybe it's just an unlucky shot with a 30mm. I think we've won that. So, yeah, the rematch one goes to us again. Right, rematch two. We always start with firing missiles at long range, although these missiles aren't particularly accurate for sea fighting. We're probably better off using something like a, uh, a cruise missile these days, but... They would probably shoot it down. Right. I don't think we'll get many cannon shots at this range, so I'm going to turn the missiles on. There we go. Shot one down at far range with the uh, the lasers. I mean lasers, not missiles. Oh, we didn't shoot that one down, though. It looks like the lasers aren't particularly good at shooting something directly ahead of us. It's twice we've been hit now. Right. Although, you know, the armor's doing a good job, so I'm glad I put that amount of armor on. Another shot. Yeah, it's... Well, it's took out the center section, but... Overall, it's pretty good. Oh, we shot down a missile on the left there. So our missiles aren't getting particularly close. Their 30mm seem to be doing a pretty good job of shooting down the missiles, despite the fact they're not really designed for shooting down missiles. Although our lasers kind of trump everything. Like, you know, what was that? 1.2 kilometer distance? We shot down. Right, we're going to think about it. Right, we've set up two missiles on the right just to hopefully uh, penetrate their defenses. Or we could just shoot them with a cannon round. It looked like we've got a very good cannon. Yep. Now, the advantage that we have is we've got guns that can shoot in most directions. These Corvettes can only really shoot forwards. I mean, the 30mm is of a bit more of an arc of fire, but the Howitzer especially can only shoot forwards with a very minimal arc of fire. I think it's about 20 degrees. 10 left, 10 right, 10 up, 10 down. Um, so, if they get turned around like that guy's there, he doesn't really pose much of a threat. He might be able to get the 30mm cannon if he's lucky. Ooh, another hit! Ooh, very well at the moment, despite the fact we're rocking up and down a little bit. Yeah, 30 minute cannons. Choose to shoot them on the right. Plenty of explosions. Well, I, I think that is all of them disabled. I think we win this one again. Um, we are utterly trouncing them. Oh, we'll go for a third run then. So, third run. Uh, we've won two out of three of the rematches. And, of course, we won the one that wasn't a rematch. The very, you know, well, the one that counted. Uh, by the way, I'm, I didn't record all of them and then cherry pick one. I recorded one 
that went in, and then I played it some more. Don't worry, I, I wasn't, like, going to pick, like, what the result would be. Not that it would matter, because we win, uh, apparently all of them so far. Alright, missiles incoming. Switch over to... The cannon? I think that's a mistake past me. I think that's a mistake. Airborne laser. You're not going to get all of them in time. There's three of them coming at you. You're not going to get them all. One. Two we got hit. Three we... I think we shot down three. Even that where it hit the ground. Yeah, but that was a bit late. Past me. You're not very good at this. Um, there are more coming in, so we'll just leave the lasers on. There we go. We've got more shots. Now, one of the things that... Uh, the reason that we didn't get missiles... Or particularly many missiles uh, incoming at us... When we were playing it the first time... Uh, in the actual episode of World War K... Was because the the, uh, the craft had the missiles arc down a little bit... So when they launched, they tended to hit the ground. Um, I've altered it for these rematches... So they're actually firing up into the air... And they're actually doing a lot better job. I'm going to fire off all of our missiles... Hopefully they'll be able to get through the uh, enemy uh, fire defences. Or we could just shoot it with a cannon like that. Maybe they should be ability to split up... So you don't like automatically uh, target the uh, ones you're already shooting at... Or the ones that have got missiles locked on. Oh, that's a lot more complicated. Uh, right, let's see if we can take them out. Oh, we could completely trounce on the right. It's been hit with a load of missiles and, you know, cannons, so I think it's destroyed. One on the left we managed to get hit on. Oop. Oh, oh, that was close. We could have reached out and touched that one. Yeah, the one on the right is completely dead. So many hits. Oh, I hope. Like, they could have hit, you know, the water. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. That looks good. Is it a hit? No. Aww. I think, I'll be honest, I think the biggest advantage we have here... Oh, what a hit. Lovely. Quick. 30mm cannons, we're getting under fire. We're taking fire. I mean, we're pretty robust. You know, we're not going to you know, suffer particularly much. Oh, lovely. I, I do love being able to do a broadside like that. The biggest advantage we have, though, is we've got, like, gimbal guns. And they don't really have that advantage. Oh. Oh, we've lost the, the command pod. I mean, I guess the command pod is the weakest thing on the top of our ship. We're going to get blasted by 30 million other guns. It's probably the only thing that's really going to go. But we did win. I guess this means that we should probably move our battle bridges inside the ships and just do electronic uh, target location. But thank you very much for watching this outtake video. Well, not really an outtake video, but rematch. And stay shiny.